Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. Our set for video, the beer's courtesy of Keith. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Keith. I really appreciate it. Uh, he's courtesy of 93 Lumber, not courtesy, he is 93 Lumber on YouTube. I will add him in the description box below. Uh, it's another free will beer. I have not had a bad beer from these guys. They make awesome stuff, and this one definitely sounds up my alley. Breakfast Epiphanies, Imperial Style Aged in Bourbon Maple Syrup Barrels with Coffee. Uh, all stuff I absolutely love. 12.6% ABV. Also love the small format. Um, and yeah, <laughs> got a little damage, so let's see how this opens up. Well, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> it did not pierce. All right. I don't know if that's enough for it to... Let's see if it pours. We're just rolling with it, aren't we? So anyway, how's your guys' day going? Pretty good? Let me know in the uh, comments section below. That seems to be the fastest way to do it. I really didn't think this was going to happen. Uh, I thought it was going to open right up. And... Uh, yeah, you know, this is why some people edit their videos, but not me. You, you, you get to see all of it. <laughs> um, I almost, because he did give me a glass. It was for a very specific free will beer. And I almost used that. But I thought to myself, wait, I'm going to post this on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I should use my Black is Beautiful glass instead. And it's also why I picked a dark beer for it. Um, if you don't know about me, I used to help my great-grandfather collect maple sap and then um, uh, make maple syrup. So I, I do fiend over real maple syrup. I'm, I don't ever use the fake stuff. And um, again, if you watch this channel, you know that I like bourbon barrel aged stout. So with or without coffee, maple, all that stuff, this is, again, 100% up my alley. If you fast forwarded, welcome back. So it is a dark beer. It's mostly black, a little bit of brown. About half a finger of a mocha colored head, uh, compact bubbles, some legs, a little bit of lacing. See about the aroma. Big coffee up front. That's the first thing I get is is unmistakably coffee. Then there's a nice sweetness to a little bit of a milk chocolate with some oakiness. I wouldn't say I get bourbon yet, but I do get some woody oak for sure. I don't know if it's char or the. Um, the roastiness of the beer. I don't know if the base beer is roast here. This is all just a coffee. Yeah, there, there, there's a nice sweetness to it. It very much does smell like breakfast in a glass. I'm not going to say get maple syrup yet. But there is this sweet element to it. But it for me, it doesn't... Like, if I was doing this blind, I wouldn't go to maple. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Keith. Hope you're doing well. That's super tasty. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is really good. Yeah, so <clears throat> like the aroma, coffee for sure, and it's a great cup of coffee. Like that's really nice coffee. Whatever they use, however they did it, really nice level. If anyone at the brewery's watching, good job on the coffee. Like that's awesome. Exactly how I want my coffee in a beer like this. Some oakiness, a little bit of vanilla in coming through as well, which I'm always a fan of. Uh, big chocolate. Unlike the aroma, I'm getting a little bit more complexity with the chocolate. Um, I do get some milk chocolate. I get dark chocolate for sure. The coffee bitterness is definitely helping me also go to that, those dark chocolate note um, elements. Um, like the aroma, I don't get like a lot of maple, but there is a nice sweetness to it. Um, yeah, it's just a good sip. I get a, a about a, th a third to a halfway through this the initial sip, not the aftertaste, right? Just a sip. I do get some nice bourbon coming through, but not overly done. And I think with that there is a little bit of a maple thing, but it, it's not overly done uh, for sure. And I mean, I would take more maple too for sure. But like, I really like. Like, I'm not gonna get hung up on like it's maple bourbon, you know, maple syrup barrels. Where's the maple? Like, I'm not getting hung up on that. This is a delicious beer, period. Um, man, did they do a good job on this. 
Keith, thanks again. I really appreciate it. If you guys had this beer before, have you had anything else from Free Will? Drinking something else you think I would like hearing about? Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out. It's Grammar Untapped. It's No Hype Beer Reviews in both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.